Hi, it's Nick. Welcome back to my channel, Nick's Preparedness. While I was posting reviews on bags today, I decided to post one as well on the bag that I carry every day now. It's also made by 511. You can take a look at it right here. It obviously is packed out. And a little bit later, we'll take a look at the size of the compartments, how everything's laid out. I'll also link you to a video on the contents of this bag, some other things I like to carry, and maybe some things you'd like to add to yours. So let's take a look. We'll see if there's something that you can use. So this is the 511 Covert 18 bag. This is the bag that I carry every day. I keep it in my truck. If I get out of the truck, I try to take it with me anywhere I go. That way I've always got it on hand. I use it as a bug out slash get home slash go bag. It's hard to make one thing do everything, so I try to keep it limited to what I think my situation is going to be. I try to keep the gear in there relevant to the climate that I'm going to be in and the situations I'm going to face. So this is roughly how it's set up right now, and I'll go through some of the details about the bag. The reason it's named the Covert 18 is obvious. It doesn't look nearly as much like a tactical bag or a bug out bag or military style as the Rush 72 I showed before did. It's still a great bag. It gives up a little bit of space. However, when you're trying to be the gray man and not draw any extra attention to yourself, military or law enforcement style bags or clothing can bring undue attention. That's the reason this looks a little bit more like a normal book bag does. Let's look at some of the features in the pockets. To start with on the front, we've got a pretty large pocket right here. I use it to keep rain gear and a trash bag in to cover my bag if I need to, but you've also got molly straps as well as a velcro pouch right here. This is a great place if you need to store a firearm to use a molly holster. After that we've got a small pouch that doubles as an admin pouch. You can put magazines in here. I've got room to store down in here. Some batteries, some carabiners, fire starting material, notebook and pen, things that you would like to be able to readily get to if you needed them. Now here's the main pouch. It's built a lot like the Rush 72 pack. There's a lot of zippered storage, a lot of it's mesh so you can see through. It's divided in the middle to offer a little bit of separation. It has a good bit of storage in there. I have almost as much stuff in here as what I carried in that 72 hour pack and I've realized that I probably need to pare some of this down because I don't need it all. This one also has a small compartment on top, similar to the Rush 72, where you can store some glasses. It's a little bit larger, so I've got a small pair of binoculars, some electrolyte tablets, as well as some glasses in there. And again, like the Rush 72, we've also got a compartment here for a Camelback or any other hydration bladder. Instead of the tall zippered pouches on the Rush 72, the Covert 18 has these mesh pouches that you can pull tight. I've got medical gear in that side. I've got a metal water bottle with my water filtration gear on this side. That still doesn't look too terribly out of place in normal situations. I can probably bag them up and make them a little bit more covert but that's the difference between this bag and some of the other ones. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel, post a comment, and click the red bell in the corner so you get the new videos as soon as they come out. Also visit my website at nickspreparedness.com. I have a blog there where I go much more in depth on these subjects and reviews. I really appreciate you watching this, and as always, get better and stay ready.